Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 6 of season 3 of Kaguya Sama. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, hold on, stupid thing. In 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made a stupid joke. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> really a water grass we Pokemon now. Well, damn. So literally your parents don't give you give a shit about you. <laughs> hmm. Is it kind of bad that I want to see these characters in college, though? You know, I mean, I think that would be a really good idea. I mean, you know, we're getting more animes like that now, and I really enjoy that because, like, yes, I love seeing characters in high school forever and such, but I do also like to see characters who are still somewhat close to my age and are doing adult-ish things like, yeah, going to work, going to college and shit, having a job, relationships, this is that and the third. I mean, I felt like one anime, one or one or two, two have, no, one has done better than the other one. The, the blue, the, the blue something crossing, that one comedy that I reacted to and I binged it. And then I think my least favorite now, but I still enjoy it as like a quote unquote guilty pleasure-ish. It starts with an R. That's all I'll say. It's a popular show. One of my favorite characters is in there. One of my other favorite stages is in that show. She plays a bitchy character. Everybody hates her. I hated her at first, but now I like her as a character. Everyone doesn't like the protagonist, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, figure that shit out. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> What mm. well, damn? Oh, shit. Your mom's so pretty. Yeah, you didn't come for I? Oh my god! 
god, ah, she's so cute. Is it bad? Oh, oh Please no. No. See, I have a bad feeling about this. Well, I mean, that is the logic answer and the typical answer, but still, baby, you need to have your own dreams. Yeah, you'll be in a long distance relationship. <clears throat> Hell, or she could be like Asana and literally just be like, yeah, I'm going to follow you to the ends of the earth, bruh.
baby, be more confident. You're getting it now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You done fucked up! Unfortunately, baby, there is no way of changing back time. If we could, you know, I wish we could change a lot of things. Take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> go with you. I want to go with you. <laughs> and walks in Chica. No, she got me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's like me when I ask. <laughs> no, when I got when I got asked to prom, and I was like, no, I'll see you there. God damn it.
しいか。はあ、no! God damn it! She got easy got me! No! We could have read the room! Oh, I thought we were gonna have like a little K on thing going on here, did I? We're not gonna talk about that again. No, no, no. Just, just stay with your rapping. It's okay. We don't need anything else. Because remember, you killed Tika the last time! ASMI ish. Baby's confidence is just going down the drain. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, that, of course, we all knew that, you know. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> we know, we know, but he's in our dreams. <laughs> huh. 
yeah. <laughs> Watch her say, oh, there's nothing that he needs to change. Because she likes everything about him. Of course. Is right. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, that prince, he exists. He's out there. You just got to find him. Or, you know, 50 out of 50, he may end up finding you. I mean, you know what? God, oh my God, are we going to talk about this? Okay. We might as well. I mean, because every single week this damn show ends up bringing something where it's like, oh my God, like... Here's a learning lesson for all of us today. I mean, okay, like for me, yeah, I do like pretty boy types. I do always look at like how attractive the person is first. But then sometimes I always don't really think about it depending on this. It, it's like, okay, I have like this and it's not really more of standards. I think it's really like with the other guys I've been in relationship with, um and dated and what like really I feel like one of the guys that I really truly dated was a very serious relationship it's about how is it going to be when the times get rough like if something happens to one of your family members or something how is that person going to be at those times where it's sad like yeah because it's not always going to be happy happy you know joy joy rainbows and butterflies and unicorns and everything there are going to be days where sad things are going to happen and it's going to be you want to make sure that that person um who you choose to be your partner through the rest of the world and life and shit is there with you through like everything the good the bad and everything in between so i mean <clears throat> do i think kaguya and jiragane are like do they have the best of course they're they're always there for each other no matter what whether it's just like a little moment just to talk about something, whether it's good, bad, or anything else in between. So yeah, they, they're they not like the perfect couple because, well, yes, they are in a way because <laughs> the show began like that. We're like, oh my God, they're like so freaking perfect together, even though they're not, are they together and such? But like in real life, there is no freaking perfect fucking couple because even like like me thinking about how like big, when I was a kid and even now I still kind of do this but certain celebrities in this where we kind of like glorify the shit out of celebrities and we're like we look at a couple and we're like this is what the hell 
a relationship is supposed to look like. This is how we want it. Da 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 da. da. This is that. The third. Then you look at whatever the fuck is going on now with some of these celebrities, and you're like, bro, do, do we want a relationship like that? Or we look at TV shows or other animes that we watch, and we say, you know, hey, that's a good relationship and what it's supposed to be like. Like for me. When I look at certain anime couples, um, so this could go, like, hella old school when we're looking at, like, um, Usagi and Mamoru, or even freaking, oh my god, uh, Haruka and, um, Michiru also from Sailor Moon, or just, like, any, you know, whether it is a same-sex couple or it's a boy and a girl couple, same-sex or, or opposite-sex no matter what, you're all seeing, like, what a relationship was supposed to look like. And you're like, damn, that's what I want. And then you also think about, like, your family and everything. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't work out. But, yeah, I mean, there is a other person out there for all of us. We just gotta find them. Hell, they could be watching you right now and you just don't even know. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, well, not, like, in a creepy way, but more or less, like, they, you know, you find a video of someone and you're like, dang, like, I wanna, like, be with that person or you could be their moderator on twitch or you could meet them on a discord the way that you have a, have officially meet someone and falling in love with someone now is completely freaking different than when most of us were kids and you know our parents were falling in love and shit so yeah times are fucking different so you just really never know how the fuck you can fall in love with somebody but yeah i mean i i look at like personality and you know still you know the hotness of a guy and such and attractiveness <laughs> it's like kind of, it depends on my my mood and such but like yeah those are the big things that i'm always gonna look for and it's like hey if you make me laugh you know that's a plus if you make me smile that's a plus too and you know and then the biggest thing is, like, it, it's like, okay, how do I feel personally when I'm around you and such? I, you know, the guy that I was in a re the longest relationship with, like, he made me feel, like, hella special every day. Up until, you know, he fucking ghosted my ass. But at that point when it was just me and him, it felt like it was just me and him. And we were the only two. And I, I think even now... I, I, it, it's kind of hard to find that feeling with someone else because I'm still, I'm, I'm not as hurt from that relationship anymore, but I, at the same time, I kind of am. So I kind of feel like I put my walls up towards when a guy comes up to me and they're like, hey, like, I think you're cute, da 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 can I have your number? And sometimes I immediately think, oh, you're fucking with me and shit like that and such. And plus, and then you also look at, like, how the way I look, because I hate the way that I look. And we've also had, like, bazillion conversations about that and such. So I always think, like, no, there's no one's going to like me because of the way I fucking look and shit. And I'm never going to be alone and, and everything. And there are times where I kind of sit and think, you know, maybe it's okay if I'm alone. But then at the same time, I'm like, no want to be in a relationship because I want to have kids and such but it's very complicated that's <laughs> that's it moral of the story it is complicated and I need these two to confess ASA freaking peace so let's get it going hopefully in the next couple couple of weeks with these two but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six of season three of kaguya sama if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day show the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode seven bye guys